Norton's theorem, example 2.8. Calculate IL using Norton's theorem. In this video, I will show you how to solve this question using Norton's theorem. Okay. So our aim is to determine current IL that is labeled here, which current that is flow through resistor 100 and 150 ohm here so uh, to apply Norton's theorem so first we have to calculate the Norton resistance IN okay to determine IN so we have to draw back the circuit and we remove uh, resistor are 150 ohm which current IL flows through it and this will leave two open terminal here and here we have 100 ohm 100 ohm and 220 ohm and this is the okay as you can see here so VT, uh, IN is actually the Norton current short circuit current between those two points so we put short wire here so IN is the short circuit current here so uh, from here uh, before we can calculate IN so we have to know what is I total which is current from supply and we have therefore need to calculate RT first Okay, now, uh, so we have to calculate total resistance for this circuit. So, by referring to this, RT equals to 100 times 220 over 100 plus 220 plus with these two parallel resistor with series in this 100 ohm resistor. So, we get here 100. So that we had the R total after calculation is 168.75 ohm. Okay. Now let me uh, calculate the I total after we get R total. I total equals to E over R total. So our supply here is 12 foot divided with 1. 68.75 now if you calculate this you get I total as 7.1.111 milliampere ok now we have the I total so by using uh, current divider rule so we can determine Norton current which is uh, 220 ohm divide with 220 plus 100 time with the I total which is current that going here so 71.111 milliampere so we will get after calculation we will get IN as 48.889 milliampere now we solve for Norton current so we go to uh, second step okay second step now we calculate the Norton resistance Rn so to calculate Rn we draw back this circuit but this time we remove the supply and replace it with short wire and then uh, we still have 100 ohm here then this point should be open 100 ohm 220 ohm 100 ohm so our RN will refer through this point so from here we can 
at Rn equals to 100 times 220 divided by 100 plus 220 plus with 100 where we may get 168.75 oh. okay now after we get IN RN so the last step we draw Norton equivalent circuit Norton equivalent circuit we give it this and this ok so our IN is 48.889 milli RN 168.75 ohm and then here we can place back 150 ohm here so this is our required IL and therefore by referring to this circuit IL using current divider rule 168.75 divide with 168.75 plus 150 times with 48.889 milli so then we will get current is uh, 168.75 divide with 168.75 plus 150 times 48.889 so you get 25.882 milli ampere as the answer ok so we get here INS 48.889 RN 168.75 and IL is 25.882 milliampere. Okay. So, actually, this question uh, is we can solve this question using another method which is much simpler than this. So, I will show you now so you can compare it uh, with. The solution that we have just done just now okay now uh, for second method second solution method so we apply the same uh, procedure same process calculate I n okay but now instead of we remove 150 ohm for this I will remove not only 150 ohm but we remove also the resistor 100 ohm which connected in series with 150 ohm so the circuit become the open terminal is here so no more 100 ohm here so this open terminal will be shorted and this is IN which current is required so by looking at this circuit we can calculate IN much simpler because IN is shorted the resistance to 120 ohm here so there will be no current flow through this resistor so IN equals to 12 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.12 ampere okay much easier so we finish the first step now we go to second step uh, calculate uh, n calculate r n so to calculate r n we remove 12 volt supply then we draw back the circuit so we have here 100 ohm 220 ohm and this is the open terminal will be our reference to calculate Rn 
So from here we get Rn equals to 100 times 220 divided by 100 plus 220. So which is uh, in parallel connection. So we get here 68.75 ohm. Okay, now we get IN and RN. So the last step would be draw molten equivalent circuit. So draw the Norton equivalent circuit. Our IN is 0 0.12, 0.12 ampere, parallel with uh, 68.75, which is our RN. And now we place back those two resistors, 100 ohm and 150 ohm. Okay. Now this is our IL. I L here. Therefore, I L using current divider rule, sixty-eight point seven five divide with sixty-eight point seven five plus hundred plus one hundred fifty times with zero point one two. So we will get. 68.75 divided with 68.75 plus times 0.12 so you will get 25.882 milliampere so now we get the answer of IL okay our IN is 0.12 ampere RN 68.75 and IS 25.882 milliampere. And if we compare this answer with the previous solution, we may get the same answer of IL 25.882 milliamp here 25.882 milliamp also. So it is we have verified this. This is just much simpler than this previous one. So we can choose uh, which you feel uh, comfortable to do it now. Okay? So I think that's all from me. Thank you.